I am Dr. Saima Khan and today I will be discussing a rare condition which is known as heterotopic gestation. In this, simultaneous pregnancies are seen. One is seen in the intrauterine cavity which is known as intrauterine gestation. The other is normally seen outside the uterus which is known as ectopic gestation normally seen in the fallopian tubes. This is a rare condition in which simultaneously two pregnancies are seen, one inside the uterus and the other ectopic gestation. On transvaginal ultrasound, here we can clearly visualize an intrauterine gestation. Fetal pole can also be seen in the gestational sac. No cardiac activity can be seen on Doppler study. Yolk sac is visualized. As we further proceed in our scan, we can see in the right adenexa a small cystic area which is surrounded by a hyperequic area. This is giving us a donut sign appearance which is very typical of ectopic pregnancy. Causes and risk factors are assisted reproductive technologies, history of pelvic inflammatory disease, previous ectopic pregnancy, tubal surgery or abnormalities, use of fertility medications. On Doppler scan, we can also see a ring of fire sign. This is circumferential vascularity, which is also known as the ring of fire sign. In ectopic pregnancy, we can see that there is no fetal pole or yolk sac. Minimal free fluid is also visualized in the ectopic pregnancy. Clinical presentation. Symptoms can vary and are often non-specific leading to diagnostic challenges. Common symptoms include abdominal or pelvic pain, vaginal bleeding, signs of ruptured ectopic pregnancy such as severe pain, dizziness or shock in critical cases. What are the diagnostic measures? Ultrasound is the primary diagnostic tool. Detection of intrauterine gestational sac along with an extrauterine pregnancy can be visualized. Doppler ultrasound may show vascularity around the ectopic pregnancy, which is a typical ring of fire sign. Beta HCG levels may be inconclusive as both pregnancies contributed to elevated levels. What is the management in heterotopic pregnancies? To manage the ectopic pregnancy, surgical removal, which is laparoscopic removal, is done. In selected cases, methotrexate injection is used, though methotrexate is contraindicated if an intrauterine pregnancy is viable. Intrauterine pregnancy management. The intrauterine pregnancy is monitored closely to ensure its progression is not affected by the treatment of ectopic pregnancy. Prognosis The prognosis depends on early diagnosis and appropriate management. The survival rate for intrauterine pregnancy is around 30 to 70 percent after ectopic pregnancy management. What is the clinical significance? Heterotropic gestation poses a unique diagnostic and management challenge for healthcare providers requiring high clinical suspicion, especially in patients undergoing ART or with risk factors for ectopic pregnancy. Please drop your thoughts in the comment box below. Remember to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you.